What's up, guys? J F M here. Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, I definitely am, and I know it's only going to get better because today is the day that we play Minecraft Survival in this here world. So, like always, as usual, we will continue our ritual of farming at the beginning of every episode as we go over our goals for the day. Quickly though, I do want to thank you guys so much for all the support. It has been absolutely insane, the love you guys are showing on this series. It, it truly is crazy. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let's get into our goals. So, our goals are as follows. Continue to search for carrots, because I still don't have carrots. <laughs> uh, get leads, um, which will be pretty interesting. Tame a donkey, build a stable, and fish. Those are very doable objectives, except the only one I'm a little worried about, just a little bit, is... Uh, is the getting the leads part, because then I need a slime ball, and that is not guaranteed. I'm telling you guys, when this farm is full, it gives a pretty decent harvest. It's not bad at all. All right, I'll put all this away, and uh, we can begin talking about what's new today. So, one of the things that you guys may notice is the house has changed a little bit. I've added the frame to the roofs. Before, I realized you guys probably did not see, you You probably couldn't picture how it was going to look without that. So I framed out the roofs and you can sort of see, I might fill them out today if I have time. I think I have enough blocks, we'll see. But uh, there we go, so that is what the house is looking like right now. I'll get up there and show you guys a better peek. But first, I gotta show you what I've done in here. Oh baby. I have turned this area into a really cool looking place, I think. So I, I'll explain what I've done. It's very simple. I only use three different blocks. Well, three different types of blocks. I've got cobblestone in here, cracked stone brick, and andesite, I want to say. Let's find out. Andesite, yes. <laughs> and personally, I think those three blocks go really, really well together. There's also a little bit of smooth stone here and there, but that's just from the original cave. Um, I tried to get rid of most of it, if not all of it, and I think this looks awesome. So what we have here is we have an entrance. I still gotta work on the entrance. I think it's kind of ugly, but if we go in here, we've got our walkway up onto uh, this here way walk pattern thing where we go up to the house uh yeah that was bad <laughs> and then on the way down we will eventually have a a storage room in here i think is where i'll have my storage because i don't want to make a storage building that thing will be massive storage rooms are best uh made underground so i think that's what this will be down here uh, I'm looking forward to that. Also, you may be wondering what happened to the nether portal then. Well, let me show you to the nether. It's just down here in this messy room. I'm gonna move it eventually, but for now, we've got a little nether portal down here. <laughs> so, it's a little tucked away. You can't hear it. It's not too bad. Um, yeah, there we go. So, that is to the nether. So, if this is your first time seeing this, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you if you think it's good, if there, you think there are things I could change, uh, please do let me know. Now, I'm gonna climb up here and show you guys what the house looks like from the top. So, as you can tell, I've sort of framed out what the roof structure is going to be like. Um, yeah, it's, it's still a work in progress. I think we'll probably get this done within two or three episodes, so not too much longer. Uh, but yeah, that's that. And we, I've learned my lesson. Not trying to jump off again, that's for sure. <laughs> so, with that being said, that is just about all you've missed. So, I do need your help, though, because I'm struggling with this. I don't know how to add a railing to that to make it look nice. Or supports. I gotta figure that out. This, this needs to be... Uh, I don't know the word. What's the word? What's the word? Niceified. No, that's not the word. <laughs> I'll sleep on it. That's what I'll do. Good night, Shade. I'll see you in the morning. And I'll see you all in the morning where we start working on brand new things for this episode. Good morning.
morning, everyone. <laughs> Let's begin, shall we? All right, so I think one of the first things that I want to do is um, I want to, this might be crazy, I want to begin working on the stable first. I want to. I want to give it a go. I've got a few blocks in here. I've already framed it out. I'll give you guys a base, uh, a base, a basic rundown of what the framing is here. So, we've got a block here. We've got three blocks in between, and that's that. Um, we've got one block in between here, then there's three blocks in between, three blocks in between, uh, three blocks in between, and then one block in between. It's kind of confusing, um, but you guys can take a peek and you'll see it for yourself. Also, I'm going to release a download for this map, so you'll be able to figure it out if you want to follow along. Anyways, let's get going. Let's build this stable, shall we? So, uh, this might help the, uh, the visualization. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring these, all of these, all of the ones in this row, four blocks tall. Except the one, one in, this is going to be six up, and that one's going to be six up. Same on the other side. And then these are all going to be uh, too high, I believe. Let's see what that looks like. Here we are. So, as you can tell, what, what's going to happen here is I'll have a stall right here, I'll have a stall right here, and I'll have a stall right here in the same exact thing on the other side. So, six stalls in total. That is going to be how that is, if that makes sense. Time to work on a little bit more of the framing. So, what I want to do for the basic framing is go ahead and plan this out like so. I'm going to do that and then bring this along just like so. So you can easily follow along, pause the video if need be, but this is what we're doing here. It's a little bit of a freestyle. That is not right. <laughs> there we go. Same thing on the other side. There we go. Now I think it's just about time to get the roof going. So I'm going to do it very similar to my house over here. It's going to look very similar. Uh, I'll just do it really quick and I'll show you guys what it looks like once I'm done. Alright, so I'm just about wrapped up with the roof on one side. There we go. This is what it looks like. It's a slanted roof. Okay, you sir. Wait a second. No, I need to go one further in, like a so, yes, and like a so, and like a so, there we are. So yeah, this is what the roof looks like, it's a very standard roof, I'll spice it up later, but this is what it's all about, just a simple slab roof. Now, we'll do the same thing on the other side. And it's about that time to go to bed, be right back, Doo -doo -doo. and there we have it, the second side, now. If you notice something, you see these uh, poking up over there? That's because we're not done yet, folks. We are getting up on that thing, and uh, we're going to add, like, a third roof sort of thing. It's going to be cool, trust me. Ladies and gentlemen, we are just about there. Look at that. Boom. The last block. Not the last block, actually. Um... You need to make some minor adjustments. You go there, you go there, you go there, you go there. Uh, oh, one missing right there. And the same thing on the other side, but look at it. Look at it in all of its glory. Oh, no, wait a second. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Did I go one too high? Oh, wait a minute. Did I go one? I did. Oh, it's supposed to start right here. Oh, I think I'm going to change it. Okay, hold on. Uh, I got to take this whole thing down. <laughs> ah, much better. Do you notice any difference, eh? No? You might not. You might. You might not. You might. I don't know. Here's the deal. It looks better. I dropped this, this top roof down half a block. Just half a block, but it, it works better. It, trust me, it does. It do. It do. Now, leave your suggestions. Let me know how you feel about it. But this is the outside. Now, we got to decorate the inside, which is the much easier part. First, I'm going to get rid of all these plants, and, uh, and then I'm going to get decorating. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so for the interior, all you really need to do is this. And then it becomes, get out of the way, sir. Uh, it becomes a working stable. Uh, yeah. Oh, and then I should probably also do something like this to separate the spaces. Yeah. Uh, however, 
That's it. That's all you need to do. That's really it. It's that simple. This is a working stable. However, it may not be the best looking right now. Which I think everybody can agree with. So, I'm gonna do a little bit more um, at the end of the episode. But here we go. And you, sir. Okay, sorry, bud. But you're out of luck. You need to get out of this. You're not a horse. <laughs> so why don't we go ahead and bring Shade to his new place? Or wait, wait, do we leave Shade in there? Yeah, we should. Because Shade's the man. But what we're gonna do next with Shade is we're gonna take him to the swamp to find a slime. Oh, it's not a full moon. It's close, but it's not a full moon. And I think that's what we need. So we can do something else. We could try to tame a, uh, a donkey. You wanna do that? I think so, that's a good idea. All right, I need to grab a, a saddle, which I think we got from last episode over here. <sighs> a brand new day, a brand new donkey. All right, let's go try to find one. Um. Yeah, I think this looks decent right now. It, it looks decent, it's just a shell of what it's going to be though. So, remember when this house looked decent? You know, it wasn't too, it wasn't none too special. And then we added the characteristics, you know, we added some character to the roof, some, some leaves, uh, this little fencing area. That is what's gonna happen with this. I think right now it looks pretty plain, but once I get in there and really get my hands dirty, I think it's gonna look pretty cool. So, I'm excited for that. But in the meantime, we have to find a donkey. That was one of our goals for today, and if we end up bringing the donkey back, um, we'll be able to put him in one of the stalls in, in, the, in the stable. So, just gotta find one. I think there was one over here, right? Wasn't there? I don't know. All right, so we're in the Sunflower Grove area. Look at what the house looks like from over here, though. That is spectacular. You're able to see it all and a little bit of the stable too. And is that sugar cane? That's crazy. Um, yeah, this is some good render distance. But um, anyways, so, it's time to find a donkey. It is, it truly is. I know there was one over here. There was in, in one of the other episodes. It must have despawned, but that does mean that they can spawn here. So, eventually I'm gonna find one. Eventually I will. At least this trip is paying for itself in food because all I have to do is shoot an, uh, shoot, a, shoot an animal and I get cooked food. It's fantastic. Hey, would you look at that? A donkey. Oh baby. This was Donkey City last time I came here and it still is perfect. So I can try to ride him. This one's got a whole lot of health. Jeez, this might take a while. So, what do we do? Oh, there we go. Not too long at all. All right, let's take a peek and see what kind of speed we got. So, nothing too serious. Not the craziest of speed. But he's good. And he's got four over, four over the thing of hearts, if that makes sense. He's got four extra hearts on top of his original heart. I don't know how to describe it. We're going to try this one out, though. Okay, he's got the same hearts, and I think he honestly goes just around the same speed. There's not much of a difference between the two, as far as I can tell. Yeah, they seem both the same to me. So I'm just going to take this one. This is the first one I tamed. We'll bring him back home, and he can be the first inhabitant of our brand new stable, which is still under construction, by the way. Uh, we'll bring him home, though. Be right with you. And here we are. Perfecto. All right, so the same thing applies as last time. Guys, leave name suggestions in the comment section below, and then check the top right of the video for a voting poll Well, you'll be able to vote. So I'll check the comments, keep updating the poll, and hopefully you guys will be able to pick the name before the next episode. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We got ourselves a donkey. Okay, um, that's two goals complete. Really happy with that. Oh, you can see him through the window. Oh, that's adorable. So, as I sit here with Moneymaker, I think it's time for a talk. Um, basically, what's going on here is I've got a few goals left. There we go. Took a little while to get started there. Um, I got a few goals left. One thing that I need to do is get slime balls so I can make leads. However, I need it to be nighttime to get slime balls. I also need it to be nighttime to get carrots. So I think the rest of this episode, or a whole lot of it, is going to be filmed at nighttime. That is for sure. So, 
Buckle up, because we are in for a treat. I'm gonna have to try to find a zombie with a carrot and kill it, or possibly... No, that's really the only thing that's left. I've checked the villages, I've done everything else I can, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And then, of course, I'll also be heading out for the slime ball. So that is about it. Um, this is me fishing. So once I catch something rare, I think I'll give myself the fishing goal complete. Still haven't caught anything that impressive, though. Hey, would you look at that? A clownfish. Not the rarest, though. I'm looking for something that's not a fish. I'm looking for an armor, a book, some cool like that. Come on. I know you got it in there, River. Come on. Hey, uh, say the word. Oh, the next catch I get. Oh, this is awesome. You know exactly what this is being used for, don't you? There we are, and we'll bring it outside. Boom. Shade, you now officially have a name. Congratulations. I don't know about you, buddy, but I feel like that goal is complete, and it's just about night time, which means time to saddle up. We're headed to the swamp. So, the real moment- Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Okay, I don't want Shade to be involved with this, but we've gotta go on a killing. Let's get him- Oh, oh, that was easy. <laughs> The witch is down, would you drop? Okay, just uh, glowstone, it looks like. Yeah, just a little bit of glowstone. So this is the witch's hut. I want to take a peek and so, oh my goodness. Spiders everywhere. Oh, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. We got our slime. We got, oh wait, I should use the sword. Okay, I need to use the sword from now on. Is the moon right? Oh, it's not even right. I thought that, I thought you had to have a full, uh, okay, there are creepers everywhere. There are creepers everywhere. Oh boy. Another big beast. Okay. Hey, oh, you. Yep, there we go. All right. I need to get off of the horse for this one. Let's get him. The looting sword. The moment of truth. Oh, baby. How many slime balls can we get? There's some more. Yes, yes, yes. Keep them coming. As many leads as possible. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Take them down. Take them down. How many is that? Just like that, we already have 25. That was one slime. I think I see another one over there too, don't I? Oh, maybe not. I apologize. That was two slimes, but one of them was tiny. So one big slime. Um, <laughs> Still just waiting, uh, waiting for more slimes and more zombies. And that's just about it. So I'll keep on the lookout and I'll get back to you guys if anything exciting comes up. Uh-oh, guys, take a peek. We've got an Enderman. Oh, and a zombie. Okay, I want to get the zombie first. No carrot? No carrot. Oh, but I want this Enderman now. Where is he at? Oh, this is spooky. Not at nighttime. Oh, man. Maybe this isn't a good idea. There are creepers everywhere. Whoa. Okay, arrow. There we are. Where are you? I hear you. Oh, boy. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Why did I do this? Why did I? No, 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 no. He doesn't go in the water, does he? No, he doesn't. Oh, joke's on you, buddy boy. <laughs> I should have made sure that I ate before that. That was a new move. But, oh my, you can see how much they're spawning. This is crazy. Um, but there we go. Uh, yeah. Three ender pearls out of one. That's awesome. <laughs> So I'm not sure about this whole slime spawning on a full moon thing. I think what might be the case is maybe they're just more common when the moon is full. Because I've found a few, but I haven't found a lot. So I think that might be the, 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 the deal. I'm not too sure, though. Uh, I'm gonna keep looking, though, because the, the moon is still up, which means they could still be coming. You never know. Oh, 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 it's done. It's done. The deal is done. The rain pours down. We've done it. Oh, both of the goals are now complete. We've gotten a carrot. We found the zombie to give us a carrot. And we've also, oh, look, another slime as well. Oh, this is big. It's a small one, though. It's a small one. That's funny, because I said this is big, meaning like, oh, it's an awesome moment, but <laughs> it's a small slime. Anyways, I'm excited. Way too excited for this. I need to get out of the rain. We've got the- oh, there's another one. Hold on. Give me a second. They are just all over the place. Look at this. <laughs> you gotta love it. All right, where are you at, Shade? Shade? 
Shade, where are you at? Where you? Ah, there you are. All right, come over here, buddy. We best be on our way. We've done it all. All right, I'm gonna get out of this rain, get into the warmth, and uh, and and celebrate, and just celebrate. We finally have a carrot. It took so long. What a beautiful day. Shade is back. Great job out there, bud. And uh, we've done it. We have done it. Okay, so, um. Wow, look at this inventory. I can make leads now. This is fantastic. All right, so I'm gonna make one. I think I need string. I'll figure it out. So here is how you do it. You place a few string like a so. I can make two, and then you do that. And there we go. Oh, I can make four leads. That is awesome. So they're not that expensive. That's the thing. They're, they're really not. Uh, you just gotta, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you see that? Did you see that? He's right outside the door. He's right outside the door. He, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? So, now that I have my lead, do I bring the carpeted llama? Oh, you're not the carpeted llama. You're a fake carpeted llama. Where's my carpeted llama back from way back in episode two, maybe? Is he still around? He might not be, honestly. I do want one llama, though, just to have one. And I don't see the carpeted llama. I don't. He must have gone away. He must be on a journey now. He's he, he, he he's, a, he's in the big leagues now that he's got a carpet. But you, you don't have a carpet yet. So why don't you come with me, buddy? And I can bring you to the stable. So these leads are going to be huge for a few reasons. Uh, one of the biggest reasons, though, is because the, I can now tie up my horse. So when I go on an adventure, I can bring my horse with me. Uh, whichever one that might be. I only have shade right now. I can bring shade with me. And, uh, what is that over there? Is that meat? Yeah, that's meat. Never mind. Oh, wait! Okay, llamas are a little bit different, aren't you? A little bit different. Why don't you get back in here? Get back in here. I'll, I'll, uh, put you up on that. There you go. No, you're still gonna... Okay. That's a little better. So llamas can get out of here. Donkeys and horses can't, though. So, a little fun fact for you. Yeah, he can. He can get out, little sly guy, I see. You're locked in there, though, with that lead. <laughs> so, that is it. Now, there's one thing I want to do before I end off the episode. I am going to spice this baby up. Uh, you'll see a nice transition, and it will should be looking cool after. So, hopefully, this works out. Let's go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Relax, bro. Let me dry off. Jeez, I was just in my house getting ready to show you the reveal. He was not having it. What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back. Whoa, what? <laughs> Wait a second. You guys see that, right? That's a pig man, right? <laughs> you do see that. You do. You do. <laughs> that was weird. Must have been a pig struck by lightning. Anyways, this is what I came up with, guys. So, I've spiced up the outside, I've added shutters for the windows, um, did that on all the sides, spiced this one up a little bit too, this needs more spicing as far as the blocks go, but I spiced this up a little bit as well, as you can see, spiced it, spiced it, it's super super spicy. So, I think that looks a lot better, and then on the inside, this is what we're rocking with here, where is the donkey? Where, where's the donkey? He must have got scared off in the storm. I don't know. Anyways, here we go. This is how I'm setting up the, the interiors here. The iron, this costed a lot of iron to get all the water in here, but I think it looks good. So this is what we're dealing with. We got some hay and some water in each one. There's still a lot of work to be done. I want to have storage uh, up in the ceiling and stuff like that, but for now... I'd say that's pretty good. So, I, I I agree. I agree with myself. This is spiced up enough for today. Uh, that's that. Now, where did that donkey go? Did he die? Uh, I guess, hopefully, I find him later. Anyways, in the meantime, let me run on up so we can get a better view of what this thing looks like uh, from above. And, uh, and that's where I'll end off the episode. So, yeah, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.